How to use Jubilee for Shopify. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you're all doing great. Jubilee is basically a platform for cosmetics and makeup and that, and that sort of stuff, which is going to allow you to have private labeling and also use it for, you know, you know, sending those products out. Now, what that means is basically having those products, but at the same time with your own branding. So if you want to set up Jubilee for your Shopify store, uh, here's how to do it step by step. So let's actually get started. So the first thing that you will need to do is go to your Shopify dashboard. Uh, and then from here, you'll need to go ahead and go to apps. Uh, and we will go to all recommended apps. Basically, we want to go to our Shopify app store and look for Jubilee. So we just search for Jubilee. This one right here. And you should find the name as the beauty dropshipping app PODDS. It is by Innovation Labs and you should find uh, high reviews for it. This way you would know it's the uh, actual one. Uh, now you can just scroll down a little bit and see uh, more about it. So like, you know, what it is, what it is about and the, the ships, it ships uh, from USA and Canada. And you can also go ahead and see the sourcing locations. Canada, China, Italy, Spain, United Kingdom and United States. So if you want to read more, you can just go to this page right here and actually feel free to uh, read all through it. But let's actually go ahead and scroll down a little bit more and see the pricings that they have because they do not have a free plan. Now it is free to install and you can go ahead and actually just uh, view the products. And I believe that's pretty much it, uh, what you can do with the free plan. Uh, but if you want to actually go ahead and use it, you will be able to uh, subscribe to one of those three plans, whether it's Starter, Pro, or Empire. Feel free to also come to this page and compare the compare the uh, elements that you would be getting or benefits you would be getting between these plans because I'm not going to go through them. Just uh, the one thing that you need to know is that the Starter is for 25 unique products. 100 for Pro and Unlimited for Empire. So with that being said, let's actually go ahead and install it uh, and connect it to our Shopify store. So we can just go ahead and click on install here. And just we will need to verify the installation one more time. And that should pretty much be it. So we just click on install. It shouldn't take too long before it actually go like works. So once you finish up uh, installing uh, the app, it should open up a page for you, which looks like this, where you'll be able to filter out uh, the products that you want. And you should be able to find all of those products, depending on which one you exactly want. You can see through them and you can have some options here. And on the left side, you can see the home page, which is the one we are in. You should find the import list. Uh, which will show you the list of the imported products that you have. You've got live products that you already have. Uh, Shopify orders, if somebody has got an order for you within Shopify. Uh, sample orders and then uh, branding. Sample order orders are going to be, if you have ordered any samples, they are all going to be within this section. Now, the first thing that we will do uh, is actually go ahead and uh, go to branding here because in here we will be able to add our own brand. So for example, uh, we will need to add a brand name so we can just put in this, for example, uh, and you can see already on the right side how it's going to look like. Uh, and we can select a font family so we can just go ahead and select a font family I don't have anything in specific, specific that I want to go for, uh, but we can, you know, just preview uh, the fonts and see which ones we like uh, the most. I think I would just stick to this one for the time being. And then we can just also upload uh, the brand logo. So we can just go ahead and click on upload uh, and we can just select our brand logo. I don't really have uh, a logo for this, but I will just be using this one for the sake of this example. Hopefully the size is uh, proper. So with that being done, we can also add uh, the city of uh, this repeater, which is us. 
and we can also add the zip code and we can just click on save changes uh obviously you will need to go ahead and subscribe first okay so let's just exit out of this uh, and in here you can also add more items and i will show you what we need to actually do beforehand but um in here you can also add more information like store name uh, contact email website url which is obviously your shopify store uh, and if you have any notes to customers you can also add them in here and here is going to be again your logo so uh, after you're done you can actually go ahead and save changes but that is going to require you to be subscribed uh, and also one more thing to actually go ahead and get started we can just go ahead and uh, for example let's go back to home screen because look like i said uh for the free version you will be able to just take a look around and that's pretty much it because if you for example you like this one and you want to add uh to import list it will ask you to actually select a um a plan i don't know why it is kind of bugging i will try to fix that right away uh and actually go ahead and select a plan okay let me just restart and get back to you once that is actually working okay so this is a normal screen if it's not bugging you that's how you should see it where they ask you to choose a plan so let me just go ahead and choose the first one and try for free you'll be able to get 14 days uh, of free trial so we can just go ahead and click on try for free exit out of this again it keeps bugging for some reason okay Again, I'll, I'll just come back to you after. Okay, there you go. It actually worked. So we can just go ahead and enter our information here and confirm our free trial. Uh, and basically, once you do this, you'll be able to uh, uh, go ahead and go to branding like we did and actually go ahead and set up things like here. The branding name, set up the f a font family. And again, if you just enter this, you can see the how it's going to look like and if you choose a font family it's also going to show you how it's going to look like and also add your brand logo uh, and next up just like any other uh, for example print on demand uh, platform you will go to home screen and actually find a product that you want to import so you would actually go to home screen uh, and find a product that you want to import for example this one bb cream sand uh, and you can just go ahead and click on it and see more details about it. And once you are happy with it and you think this one is going to be, uh, you know, something suitable for you, you can see the dropship cost, uh, retail price, and uh, the profit, uh, processing time, and also shipping time cost within the United States. States. And from there, you'll be able to just add to import list. Uh, obviously, if you have subscribed like I showed you, and then you'll be able to find it within the import list. You can adjust things like the um, mockups or change things with like the description and all of those things, um, either from here or from your actual Shopify store. If you go to products, it actually should show up in here and you can set the description up to your uh, liking. Like in here, you should find it. You can just edit things out. And that's pretty much how to use Jubilee. And here you can also see the Shopify orders. If someone is actually uh, has placed an order, you should find it in here. And that's pretty much how to use Jubilee. So with that being said, that's uh, all for this video. I hope you liked it and thanks for watching.